What's up, YouTube? I'm Z, and this channel shows you the world through my lens. Um, as I mentioned in my other video, not sure if you saw that first, if you're seeing this first, maybe you're only seeing this because you're excited about this song since a bunch of you mentioned this song. Um, we're reacting to Leslie. I just reacted to Environment. Honestly, I don't know. Crazy song. Like, he's just... I'm just going to keep saying it till it gets old. He's just different. He's different. He's different. Um... Leslie, a lot of you asked for this, and uh, I told myself today that I would come in here and I would record back-to-back -back Dave tracks because I want to try and finish Psychodrama this week, um, and as I sit here and I'm looking at the screen, this is an 11-minute song, uh, so I don't know what I signed up for today. I might be, like, I have two more. I don't know if you guys can see my tabs very well, but I'm here, uh, and I have two more videos I plan to record in this session. I'm just going to say it right now. I'm not recording those two in this session. I'll have to come back and do a second session tonight to record those. Um, because I think this is going to wipe me. I, I have that feeling right now. So we're going to check this out. I got the genius lyrics pulled up. Here we go. We're going to check it out. Now that I'm sitting here, a comment is coming to mind. Somebody said something about uh, really good storytelling. I think so that could be what we're getting into here look they say the universe it works in a strange way and it must be true because we ain't from the same background or same place but me and Leslie ended up on that same train mm. I'm talking every day I used to wake up around 7 or 8 to catch the 906 from Norbury station two different worlds in the same location mm. One day we ended up speaking And I would talk about college She would talk about meetings And how she's planning on leaving How she hates what she does but she needs it I asked her what she would do when it's the weekend And she said She said I don't know myself I don't know myself no more She used to be the life of the party for true And now she's going out hardly ever her man got her in the yard forever And her friends wanna help But it's hard to tell her Hard to let her Know that her man's possessive And aggressive And she can't even see it But for them it's clear as day She's in a situation Her friend Hannah had a man That was manipulative So she can see it from a mile off Turtleneck jumpers Make up around the eye spots All the signs were there But Leslie made it seem a light affair Said it was Okay I, I can kind of see the direction that we're going here. The setup, um, uh, the way that he's laying the foundation of this story, this is like this is pro level um, like storytelling right now. Um, man, I can kind of see where this is going. It's giving me goosebumps, uh, and this is a tough, tough topic. Again, I'll save some of my like deeper thoughts maybe for the end. Uh, but this is a topic that, that really bothers me. So uh, we're paying attention. Let's go. It's clear as day she's in a situation. Her friend Hannah had a man that was manipulative. So she can see it from a mile off. Turtleneck jumpers make up around the eye spots. Mm. All the signs were there. But Leslie made it seem a light affair. Said it wasn't right to share. Her boyfriend, he was a mystery man. Didn't know much about him, but he's been in a can. Name's Jason. He's a bad boy with no reasoning. To be honest, I don't know what Les sees in him, cause mm. she's a good girl with a sweetheart. But they both got demons in a deep past. You know, opposites attract, apparently. Never heard her talk about a family ever. Uh uh. He was all that she had until they had an argument and he stopped calling her back. And I don't know if there was more to the story than that. Cause she plays things down, but according to that, he went missing one day in the morning, he ran. She's doing overtime, struggling to afford in a flat. Till she lost her job, it fucked all of her plans. Couldn't pay the rent, borrowing and calling for cash. But Hannah, she was there for her, care for her. When I saw Les, she told me, I don't know myself. I don't know myself no more. Man, I'm getting like just full body goosebumps right now. Like, you think about the way that the story is progressing and where we are. Like, Leslie's not in a good place right now. Um, and she's got this person, Hannah, that that is a good person in her life. Hopefully we all have a Hannah in our life that can 
be that type of support for us. But the way that it went from when I saw Les, she told me, it hit harder after this second verse than it did on the first verse. Because now we're getting deeper into the story. There's more character development. We're more invested in these people and knowing what's going on. But the way that the chorus is set up, it's very simple. I don't know myself. I don't know myself no more. But it's Dave and his voice is there. And Leslie's voice, so Ruel, who's singing Leslie's voice, very low and timid. Like it's not like it's not at the forefront, right? So it's like, I think it brings more to the character and the, and the place that Leslie is in right now. Um, this is, okay. Okay, let's keep it going. I don't know myself. I don't know myself no more. Let's say I got nothing to live for. It's been raw. But David, I ain't never been this poor. There's no income. My boyfriend left me. So how the fuck am I going to survive when his kid's born? And I said it's a blessing. Oh, shit. She's pregnant too. Oh my God. Left me. So how the fuck am I going to survive when his kid's born? And I said it's a blessing as mad as it is. And Les, I never even knew that you were having a kid. Bro, she's four months pregnant, young and neglected, single. But I don't think she wants to accept it. So she's still texting exes, trying to get this back on track. But I don't think that she gets it. It's emotional obsession, clinical depression. Life is a lesson. You ain't gotta sit and cry. It's Leslie living in this gift called life. There's no better gift than a gift of life. So, can you handle it? Man, this is this is in a dark place right now. Um, a lot of women in Leslie's situation, at the place that we're at in this story right now, f- probably feeling hopeless, feeling like there's no way out, feeling like completely overwhelmed how am i going to do this by myself um and dave with those last lines just trying to be uplifting but this is a tough situation to get out of and this is a tough mind uh, mind state to get out of too so i i don't know i don't know what leslie's going to do here but let's keep going the gift of life so can you handle it Changed her perspective late in December. Her baby's expected to drop. She's accepted, excited, electric pumped. Only got to wait a few months. Her and Hannah had lunch, told her she's pregnant. And they're the closest of brethren, so she didn't stunt to tell her. I think that it's an error. You ain't a mum for a day, you're a mum forever, whatever. And you and Jason break up whenever. If I'm honest, that's something you should have done together. She doesn't know that her and Jason going out again, and Jason doesn't know that Leslie's carrying a child for them. She had daydreams of settling down with Jason. Better cause now they're together, it's wild. Feeling like she needs to call her friends and tell them cause wow, she's letting them down, but most of them are never around. She calls Hannah the next day. Still trying to figure out the best way to tell her that she's getting back together with an ex flame. So she left her a voicemail like, Yo, Hannah, it's Les, can you call me back? I want to talk about the baby, you, me, Jason, all of that. I've been feeling like I need to get my aura back. I used to be so fucking confident, but these days, I swear that I don't know myself. I don't know myself no more. It's free for. Man, I, oh, shoot, man, I don't know, this is, t- this is, I'm worried about Leslie, man, I'm so worried, um, and that's just a sign of good storytelling, like, you're invested in the story, the way he's progressing this, and I understand why he made this an 11-minute track, he doesn't want to rush any parts of this story, like, we're going step by step, each progression that's happening, um, okay, okay, let's go. I don't know myself no more It's 3 30 Leslie was meant to get a scan but today I think she's going home early trying to talk to Jason tell him about the kid addressing any reservations have that conversation middle of the summer and it's raining waiting at the train station hella cancellation so she gets a taxi sitting in the back seat blue jean jacket and a maxi actually tired and her legs are aching touch the destination way faster than a cab driver's estimation 
She put the key in the door She couldn't believe what she see on the floor Some size 5 trainers Raging, tears in her eyes But it's cool, cause they must be the neighbours And Jasons in the bedroom Fully naked, Leslie Running up the stairs, but she's making noise And she can hear Jason's voice Saying hide in the closet But he's made his choice, so she bursts in Saying what kind of person Would cheat on his pregnant girlfriend Jason, saying what the fuck You're pregnant, what the fuck you weren't even going to tell me, I mean, what the fuck? What do you want from us? Nah, you ain't in love, you just want to love. Leslie telling Jason, I don't want to love. I don't want you and I, I don't want us. And also, I don't want to talk loads. One more line before I dash like Morse code, open the wardrobe. Oh, that was hard. One more line before I dash like Morse code. The talk loads. One more line before I dash like Morse code, open the wardrobe. Shit, hold up. Okay, no, I just had a thought, but I'm just I'm gonna let it go. I'm not gonna try to guess what's happening next. I'm not gonna we're just gonna let it go. We're gonna let it go. Slap Morse code, open the wardrobe. Jason's on the edge. I just want to see if she was prettier than me, slimmer than me, maybe your baby similar to me, maybe you wanted someone thicker than me, fitter than me, to satisfy you quicker than me, I got your baby in my stomach and you did this to me, what did I ever do to you for you to finish with me, I didn't believe my girls but they were thinking of me, and give it to me, the wardrobe, give me the key, I was pulling at the door but Jason's bigger than me, literally, I remember viscerally, Jason pulling from behind me, now he's gripping on me, white flashes, his eye gashes when he's hitting me see I just wanted to disappear I wasn't living for me physically I shut the fucking door as quick as can be he's outside asking why I made him do what he did using a kick to open up the room that I'm in I'm feeling afraid barricaded with a chair and a handle I'm hearing sirens I just want to run away but I can't Jason's gone by the time police are coming they saw that there ain't no one else in the house and feds are running through the door shouting we had reports of an argument with a woman there's blood all over the floor and it splattered into the wall Les leaves on the bed and she's trying to speak to the fed she's deep in the stress and it's meters above her head if anything she couldn't even say anything but she's got this really sharp pain where her belly is so oh shit man oh shit i gotta stop like the story's escalating we're kind of approaching like some pretty crazy parts i just have to stop because i want to say this one thing like this this is a very tough topic for me like i don't like this topic I feel like no man should like this topic. Um, and not saying that we don't talk about it. We have to talk about it. Uh, I'm saying that like we should be angry that this happens. Like I have a mother. I have a sister. I have a wife. Uh, maybe someday I'll have a daughter. I don't know. But this is not okay. Uh, and both ways it's not okay. But we know it happens more in one direction. It happens more from guys abusing uh, women physically. And this part right here, he's outside asking why I made him do what he did. I just want to say to anybody that maybe needs to hear this, you didn't make him do anything like him or her. Like if you're being hit or abused by your partner, don't let them gaslight you. Don't let them make you think it's your fault. Uh, it's never okay to go to that place. We have brains for a reason. We have the ability to think, the ability to communicate for a reason. You're not a useless, wild animal. Like, you're a higher level thinking being. Be that. Argument with a woman, there's blood all over the floor and it splattered into the wall. Les leaves on the bed and she's trying to speak to the fed. She's deep in the stress and it's meters above her head. If She's deep in the stress and it's meters above her head, like drowning in stress. So meters above her head, drowning. That's dope. He's on the bed and she's trying to speak to the fed. She's deep in the stress and it's meters above her head. If anything, she couldn't even say anything. But she's got this really sharp pain where her belly is so. They call an ambulance. Leslie didn't plan for this. Police are in the room trying to find a missing piece of the puzzle until they stumble on something that's kind of random. It's a phone in a wardrobe. They had five missed phone calls from Jason and also a couple other numbers so they're thinking that it's no help until they play the voicemail like yo Hannah, it's Les, can you call me back? 
I wanna talk about the baby, you, me, Jason, all of that. I've been feeling like I need to get my aura back. I used to be so fucking confident, but these days, I swear that I don't know myself. I don't know myself no more. She felt so Oh guys, if I could tell you, you know when I paused it up there, um, right when she said, I think it was like right around the part where she says this, I'm trying to pull it back. Um, uh, here, I just want to see if she was prettier than me, slimmer than me. And I paused it when he said, open the, when she said, open the wardrobe, she said that line, my immediate thought. The immediate thought for me when I think about good storytelling, I think about twists, I think about the way the story can turn, things that would be unexpected. I immediately thought about Hannah and I was like, we've developed this relationship with this girl. We're showing that there's a strong bond and connection. And if we want this story to go to the deepest, darkest place, we need betrayal on the ultimate level. And already him betraying her is a thing, but that fit the character, right? Like that fit the character of Jason and who he was. And he already had left her and then came back. So we expect him to betray. Um, Hannah has the trust. We saw this bond and you don't expect betrayal from there. So if I wanted the ultimate twist, <clears throat> sorry, if I wanted the ultimate twist in a story, the person in the wardrobe would be Hannah. And here we are. Wow. This guy's elite. Like when we talk about storytelling, this guy's elite. Wow. So fucking confident. But these days, I swear that I don't know myself. I don't know myself no more. She felt sick to her stomach. She started panicking, mind rattling, trying to understand what Hannah did. Battling the shame, could a situation embarrassing? She's trying to fathom it, betrayed by her own garrison. Meanwhile, she's on the deck trying to manage this. Piercing pain in her stomach, she couldn't handle it. Now she's waiting for an ambulance. Look. And I know she's strong, but when I heard about what happened, I was overshocked. Her nose was gone, her jawline shattered and rot. They said her baby was the reason she was holding on. She's dozing off, doctors getting no response. Her heart rate slowing down, and they don't know what's wrong. Picked her up, got her out the home and onto the stretcher for good measure, but she's fading out. Ah, uh, she took damage to the brain, and now she's in a coma as we speak. But I ain't sure if she can make it out. You see, this time that I'm taking out to tell you the story is more than a song or track it's a message to a woman with a toxic man i'm begging you to get support if you're lost or trapped i understand that i can never understand and i ain't saying that it's easy but it must be right some of your sisters aunties mums and wives are fucked inside and they will never touch on why i'm touched because i've seen women that i loved or like cry a little red tear for a bloodshot eye this shit's awful no matter what culture it ain't normal men try and twist it and make it seem like it's your fault in that train full of people People that you're taking, how many Leslie's are running from their Jasons? Angel without wings, like the day without the night to bring her peace. A song without a voice, a spark without a flame. Child without a name, always oh, just wrong. Like an ocean without a shore, a soldier without a war. How can we do this anymore? A song without a voice, a spark without a flame, a child without a name, always oh, just wrong. We've made a massive amount of progress in this last year, haven't we? Feels like a long journey. And I must say, it's been a pleasure to watch you mature and grow in thought and in your career and life. 
You've opened up immensely. I'd be lying if I said I wouldn't miss these sessions. But you know, you can never stop learning about yourself. So you're always welcome. I'm just happy you're at a place now where you feel you understand your emotions and are in control. Oh man, oh man, that was heavy. Um, as I predicted before it started that uh, I'm not gonna be able to continue my recording session. I don't think I'm in a place to react to the next two things. Um, dude, when when he got to that, when he got to the last part, uh, I'm taking, this time I'm taking out to tell you the story. It's more than a song or track. It's a message to a woman with a toxic man. Um, I'm begging you to get support if you're lost or trapped. I understand that I can never understand. Uh, and I, I'm saying the same thing, like, I can never be in your shoes, but you deserve better. That's it. That's it. There's no, there's no other, but this, but that, like we can make all the excuses we want in the world. We all deserve better. You deserve better. That's it. Like it just. You know, some of your sisters, aunties, moms, or wives are effed inside and they'll never touch on why. That part hit me, man, because I don't know, like, you know, my mom talked about a story one time and I just remember being so angry and it was about her when she was little and I don't want to talk about it because I don't want to go to that place and I don't want to think about those things right now. Um, I think it would just overwhelm me because this was already pretty overwhelming this guy's elite, man. I'm trying to tell you, like, I don't, he's just different. He's just different. Um, as we're wrapping out, wrapping up, let me just pull up the track list here. We got two tracks left. We got voices and drama. So, uh, Maybe I'll take like a day or so <laughs> to recover from this. But I think this weekend we're going to drop voices and drama. So stay tuned. If you guys are still here, um, I appreciate you spending your time with me. I hope you have an awesome day. I'll see you next time.